Hello, jewels and gems. This is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. We are at episode five, which <laughs> is a big accomplishment to me. Uh, uh, so I'm excited about where I'm at right now. Uh, still not where I want to be, but at least I am out here. I'm making some progress. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with uh, some of the equipment, um, some of the app, apps, on, uh, apps that I'm using uh, to create this content. Um, I still have quite a bit of ways to go, but I'm, I'm still here. I'm still in the game. Uh, so uh, I just want to thank you guys for all of the support that I've been getting. Um, to me, I'm getting nice support, uh, not a lot of likes and comments and uh, subscriptions. Uh, I think I'm doing good for, for where I'm at. So uh, uh, since I don't have anything com to compare it to, I'm just knowing from for where I'm at and uh, the purpose that I'm doing this for, uh, you know, I'm fine with where I'm at. So, um, but uh, on this uh, month's vlog, I wanted to highlight uh, a couple of uh, trailblazers in the Chicago jazz area. Uh, the first person I would like to uh, uh, honor or, or give tribute to is Margaret Murphy Webb. Um, she's been in the game for quite some time and uh, <clears throat> I had to go, I, I had an opportunity to see her at the, um, uh, at the jazz showcase downtown and Oh my goodness, they presented her with her quintet and uh, she did a, a, an amazing job. Uh, the show was beautiful. And if you've ever been to the Jazz Showcase, uh, it's just got this, um, it's got this old school feel to it. And um, I just love how they have it all set up. And it, it just really feels like um, it's giving you a big hug, you know. And uh, it's just the way I like it for a jazz night. You go in and it's really dim and I really like that. And uh, the seating is really cozy and uh, you're kind of close to people, but but that's okay. You know, um, everybody still stays in their little space and, um, but people are friendly. So you're always talking to the people who you're sitting next to or if somebody joins at your table, you um, end up speaking with them. And um, we spoke with the couple that sat at our table and, and the people who sat to us on the uh, right and beautiful, just beautiful people out having a nice time. Even when you go to the bathroom, you're, you know, people are speaking and you get to meet new people. And uh, I saw one young lady at uh, the, uh, the jazz showcase. And when I went to visit uh, Joan Colasso at her event uh, the next day, <laughs> I got to see this uh, young lady there as well. So um, that's how uh, connected, I'll say, the jazz community is here in Chicago. So I'm going to add some clips in here of, um, of of this event that I went to on Wednesday, March the 27th, uh, at the Jazz Showcase where Margaret Murphy Webb and her quintet uh, played. Uh, she had um, Roger Harris was on the piano, uh, Cliff Wallace was on the drums, Charles uh, Chuck Webb was on the bass and Larry Brown Jr. was on the guitar. So it was a beautiful night and um, I'm going to uh, add some footage in here and then I'll read a, a little little bio uh, uh, for Margaret Murphy Webb. Now, I also wanted to uh, mention that um, the, she runs the Southside Jazz Coalition and they do, um, they perform every second Tuesday uh, of the month at, um, they are at the St. Uh, Moses, the Black Paris Ministries Center at 450 East 78th Street in Chicago from seven to 10. So um, I will put a little uh, I'll make sure I'm adding a little um, flyer uh, that you can uh, download or whatever. And I'll also in the description put uh, the website where you can um, go and visit her um, website, her website and get information on the next shows. Okay, so 
hold tight and I hope you enjoy the clips. Jazz Showcase. Going to hear Margaret Murphy Webb. Uh, it's a real iconic little place in Chicago to hear jazz. 806 South Plymouth. So this should be a really nice evening. We're looking forward to a good time. Walk up these little stairs. See the artwork on the walls. So cool. So cool. All the jazz greats on the wall. So beautiful. She's up tonight, her little quintet, and uh, showing you around. All right, uh, social media influencer. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, the bio for Margaret Murphy Webb reads as such, uh, Margaret, Margaret Murphy Webb is the executive director of the South Side Jazz Coalition, which, which was founded in 2015. The South Side Jazz Coalition endeavors to create safe cultural spaces by cultivating partnerships with the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events, St. Moses, the Black Parish, and the Chicago Jazz Institute. She has been granted a seat on the City of Chicago Cultural Council and was a co-chair for the City of Chicago Year of Chicago Music 2021, opening the door to more partnership opportunities. The SSJC has partnered with AARP for Senior Nights, WDCB for live stream concerts, the Logan Center for the Arts, the Croc Center Chicago, the International Music Foundation, the Archdiocese of Chicago, the Jazz Foundation of America, Navy Pier Chicago, and the Chicago Police Department for community gatherings featuring live music. As a member of the Chicago Peace uh, Fellows and the Arts Alliance Chicago, the SSJC has become a strong advocate for social justice and advocacy. The South Side Jazz Coalition believes that music unites and will continue to advocate for music, community, and justice. It all started with a jazz jam to continue the legacy of Chicago tenor saxophonist Earl LeVon Freeman's free weekly jazz jam, which ran for over 40 years and gave Southside musicians, young and old, local and international, a place to gather and share music. With a board comp comprised of music professionals, educators, and community activists, this nonprofit organization resolves con um, to continue the legacy of promoting the great African American music, the world applauses jazz throughout Chicago. Um, uh, SSJC presents the second Tuesday Jazz Jam at St. Moses the Black Parish Ministry Center, which is at, uh, located at 450 East. 78th Street in Chicago from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So feel free to join them and um, meet some beautiful people and listen to some beautiful music. Look forward to seeing you out. Thanks.
The next person that I would like to pay tribute to is uh, Joan Colasso. Uh, uh, Joan uh, played at the, she does this afternoon delight jazz at the Promontory Music Venue uh, in Hyde Park in Chicago. Uh, the address there is uh, 5311 Lake, Shore, uh, Lake Park. Um, they did an, ex, an, an absolutely beautiful um, uh, show. She had uh, presented uh, Yvonne Gage and her trio. And her trio consisted of um, Theotis Rogers on keys, uh, Ron Hall on, on bass, and Leonard Stroud on drums. They killed it, you know. This venue is a nice venue just to have um, uh, little events at, and it's got the little nice seating and everything. Uh, there's no food served uh, at this location or at the uh, jazz showcase where we were talking about for the last honoree. Um, but you can come in, they have drinks and they sell potato chips or something like that, but you can um, bring your own food in uh, if you are hungry like that. Uh, this uh, show starts from 1 uh, p.m. in the afternoon to 3.30 in the afternoon. So this happens every uh, fourth Thursday of the month and uh, she uh, Joan Colasso puts these thing to things together and uh, presents different artists and uh, just continuing to love on this jazz community. Uh, so I'm going to insert some clips here and um, then we will, um, I'll read her bio as well. Okay, hold on. Joan Colasso's artistry is internationally celebrated. Her credits include her own productions and performances, live and recorded supporting vocals for top artists, and film and television appearances. Over the years, her voice has been featured on numerous radio and TV commercials, and she has performed supporting vocals in concert for musical giants like Stevie Wonder, George Duke, Gerald Albright, Kim, Valerie Simpson, Patty Austin, Al Jarreau, and Aretha Franklin. She's opened for Jeffrey Osborne and India Ari and performed her one woman show, a tribute to Nancy Wilson and Shirley Horn at the DuSabo Museum in Chicago and in Las Vegas. Colossal's awards include an Emmy, a Jazz Institute of Chicago Walter Diet Achievement in uh, Education Award, an African American Arts Alliance Black Excellence Award, and a Rainbow Push Coalition Trailblazer Award. Colasso is also the founder and executive director of Timeless Gifts Performing Arts Program for Youth and Young Adults, an organization that has inspired, provided instruction for, and given advanced prof professional performance opportunities to young aspiring artists in the Chicago area since 2011. Um, her email address for Timeless Gifts is uh, timelessgifts2 at gmail.com. Uh, they will have some things coming up uh, um, uh, very soon for Timeless Gifts. So uh, I will leave a link down below that you can uh, contact her if you have uh, some young students that want to uh, that are interested in the arts, in the theater, um, or in jazz, you know, uh, they are just uh, running the gamut and um, and our babies are getting to benefit from this. So um, enjoy the clips and uh, um, thank you guys so much for um, allowing me to present these artists. Thank you. Uh, Timeless Gifts um, has a um, workshop. They have uh, workshops on Saturday, starting Saturday, April the 6th uh, through May um, the 11th uh, in the different age grade, rate ranges uh, for different times. So I will put a uh, flyer, I will attach a flyer so that you, if you have young ones that are interested in the theater or jazz, um, I will link that below so that you can uh, contact Timeless Gifts. Just stand across the front so I can get this photo because y'all killed it today. Woo! I want to say to the audience thank you so much for supporting this 
uh, afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. Right. Afternoon <laughs> delight. That's the name of the <laughs> Okay, jewels and gems, it is time for the crystal dewdrop of the day. Uh, some of you know and some of you don't know, but uh, the reason that my channel is named Crystal Dewdrops is because I give a little crystal dewdrop to uh, hope that it's going to inspire you, uh, give you something just to hold on to until the next post. Um, so the dewdrop for the day is found in Romans 8 28 and it is and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God to them that are called according to his purpose now God gave me that scripture to take me through all of the things that I was going through I had gone through a divorce I had um, my two children I had to move back home with my parents um, I just I, I didn't have nowhere else to be at the time, uh, but the Lord blessed, and you know I ended up moving out here uh, and uh, moving into my home, and I wanted some space for my children to run around and uh, for family to come over and friends. And this home is still that home where everybody comes, and um, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. But if you're going through any struggles um, with your health or maybe you're trying to find some place to live or um, uh, if you've got a loss of a job or some illness or you're taking care of an elderly parent or your children are struggling, whatever the case may be, uh, this scripture got me through and I'm giving it to you, hoping and praying that it will help you to get through the things that you have to go through. Um, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Uh, he is for you. So uh, just hold on to the scripture, Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. So hang in there, and I hope that, that, that those words of inspiration will um, get you through um, to your next um, journey, uh, the next steps in your journey. Um, and also, just wanted to uh, thank you guys for you know all the support that uh that you've been giving me i love it and uh thank you for your thoughts and prayers for me as i'm uh launching into my new journey uh doing this vlog and stepping out on faith and seeing what god wants to do with me with this um uh this uh vlog and um and it's uh challenging my mind which is you know fine for me because i just don't want my mind to turn to mush <laughs> and uh so uh he's been helping me i'm learning things every time i post i'm learning something new i'm getting more comfortable which is what is supposed to happen they tell you to just start posting and you just keep at it and then it becomes second nature so um i am getting more comfortable so that is good i'm excited about it i'm excited about next steps and all that so um but i want to remind you guys to um, look at the description box and get um, the information where you can contact uh, uh, Joan Colasso and Margaret Murphy Webb uh, if you're looking for your children to uh, get into uh, theater, if that's something that they're looking for, or if they are singers or uh, play instruments. Uh, these two young ladies, Margaret Murphy Webb and Joan Colasso are really good resources. And if you um, you know, you may know some other kids that may want to uh, be a part of these um, organizations. Uh, they, uh, I know Margaret Murphy Webb, I, I, they, she does some things with the blues for the children, which I love because uh, they are trying to keep uh, these, this, the legacy of our music alive. So don't forget to um, check them out. Um, Margaret Murphy Webb uh, does her um, jazz, a uh, Southside Jazz uh, Coalition. Um, she does that on the second Tuesdays of of every month. At um, hers is at the um, uh, 
um, the St. Saint Moses, the Black Parish Ministry Center at 450 East 78th Street in Chicago from 7 to 10 o'clock. And um, uh, Joan Colosso does Afternoon Delight Jazz at the Promontory Music Venue uh, every fourth Thursday of the month from 1 to 3.30. Uh, so I will have the um, their contact information in the description box below. So um, looking forward to seeing you guys out and about in the city, uh, living your best life, living life on purpose. And I do thank you so much for, you know, for hanging out with me. <laughs> so looking forward to talking to you guys uh, for the next vlog. Please like, comment, um, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified uh, for the next time I upload a vlog. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you around town. Bye.